Hello everybody, welcome back to more Ant to the Gungeon Beat the Gungeon 100% style. I don't know, man. We're playing the game, we're trying to beat the game, we're trying to mostly get credits and do the frightful stuff. I mean, it's just gonna be mostly a matter of time for the, the vast majority of the things we have to deal with here. Bop ya. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a couple things here and there that we're gonna have a little bit more control over, but other than that, it's... Most of it's like, alright, let's see if we can continue to do this without dying. It's kinda where it's at. It's like, now we have to effectively beat the clock. Like, are we... <laughs> we gotta get all the unlocks before we have one, like, really bad day and we... We get a loss, and our streak goes from a, a lovely, or not our streak, or uh, well, I guess it's a streak. Well, okay, got hit there. Obviously, maybe today's going to be the day we die because we got hit on the first floor. Uh, but, uh, you know what I'm saying. We need to keep going without dying to the lich. And you know what? I could make this really easy for myself and just never even go to... Whoop. Never. This is... That is a very annoying combo. I could just never go to the, the uh, bullet hell if I really... Wanted to never die. I could just do that. But I'm not about that life. I, wow. Thread of the needle twice there. Alright. Things are looking pretty, pretty good. <laughs> garbage so far. Oh, get it. Pretty garbage so far. But, uh, <laughs> we'll get ourselves back on track. I don't know. I just, what would it take for me to lose at this point? Probably just like a, yeah, like a really bad day. Like, a bad day and probably playing the robot or something. Some of that nature. Whoop. 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 But anywho. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to be playing the hunter. I, I don't know. I kind of just like... I, I could roll the, the D8 like I used to, but I've kind of just been like... I don't know. I'll, I'll pick the character because I don't want to... D8 gives me an equal chance of getting the paradox and the gunslinger, which I, you know... First of all, that does rip through our, our credits quite a bit, but on second, the second layer to it is the fact that they're they're pretty darn strong. I, I you know, I don't want an easy time. I don't want to necessarily make things impossible for myself or make things like grossly harder, but I you know, like I always say, I just I don't want to make them I don't I don't need to make them necessarily harder. I just don't want to make them easier is effectively where I'm at, you know? Alright, let's do this. Banana! <laughs> and you know what? Since that is the passive chest, I will, I'll actually do it. You know, we have the selling thing here. Lichy Trigger Finger is actually like a very valuable brand chest passive, in my opinion. But let's use the banana. It's early enough in the run where it's, you know, it's, it's decent enough. Decent enough. Man... Makes me want to play some worms. Been a long time. Been a long time. Okay. Hold up. The weird thing, like, how much better is the banana than just if we were gonna just do like the crossbow? I mean, it's better because like, first of all, I think it does do more damage. Second of all, it does an explosion. Explosions are nice. Cover your butt a little bit. They're a little bit more, uh, they're a defensive item, in a way, you know? Blocking bullets, breaking bullets is probably a better better way of phrasing it. Mega Hand is a a great get, fantastic get. Just, secret room? No secret room. And I know I checked here, but I just, I guess I don't know if I trust it. All right. Where is the next most likely place? I don't know. You know, it doesn't look like it would be here. Because <laughs> I don't think it... I don't know. I don't think it can be south. But oh well. No big deal. Just one moment. Cat wants out. All right. All right. <laughs> I want in. I want out. But anyway, the Mega Hand is just fantastic, especially to get this early on, I'd say. Because, uh, you know, it's just fantastic for room clear as long as it can one-shot the vast majority of things. That's effectively, like, these slower weapons that take time to charge. As long as the charge is worth it and it's going to actually one-shot an enemy after charging, it's still pretty banging. 
it can reach uh, a point where it's a little bit rougher though you know you gotta gotta two shot an enemy then effectively like a faster firing weapon would be better so, you know like say they say this and a fast firing weapon does the exact same damage per second like every every millisecond damage per millisecond imagine they do the same then in theory you would want the one that fires faster because they would uh instead of taking say it takes one second charge fire one second charge fire and the shot is like one damage point away from killing them that uh, say it does 20 damage and they have 21 health <laughs> you know uh you would want something that fires that would fire 20 shots in the same amount, 20 shots doing one damage in the same amount of time that this would do the one shot because then you know it would be dead like immediately after after the uh, the 20 shots to be 21 shots instead of the equivalent of 40 shots does this make sense i don't know i it makes sense in my head and i think it makes sense to most people's head i'm just trying to think if i laid it out in a way that that uh, that tracks effectively it could take two seconds with this gun or uh, one and one twentieth with a gun that, you know, fired as many shots as, uh, you know, 20, 20 per second, if that makes sense. Might have said it. Might have said it in a way that's way more complicated than it needs to be. And like I said, the vast majority of people probably already get what I'm talking about. But effectively... As long as it's still one shot and it's just satisfying to use on top of the fact that you can there's there's a it's not entirely the truth that a 20 shot per second gun for example would always be better because you can charge it up before you enter rooms you can charge it up behind corners in safety uh, there's all, like there's all kinds of different ways where there's uh, the strengths and weaknesses to to both. But it's pretty satisfying to use this. That's for sure. Just po poke around the corner or charge up before enemies spawn. All kinds of different ways where it actually can be fantastic. Was there one key for sale here? One key for sale. There is the uh, the rat key. I don't know that we're going to get enough money. And even if we... Well, actually, you know, there's a, there's a chance. There's a chance. We're finding this sucker right here. Happy to see uh, Fusilier on this floor because it means we don't have to fight him later. I sh probably should not have, definitely should not have blanked on it. It's harder than, I, I consider this mini boss to be harder than like a huge chunk of the, the real bosses. I mean, we made very easy work of it there, but you know, whatever. Uh, but the thing is, still probably shouldn't have used my blank there because master rounds are important. Okay. Accuracy up. Accuracy uh, way up, I think. We don't really have anything to truly test it. Oops. That ain't helpful. We actually, like, don't have a great selection of weapons for it. Mega Hand's not a bad boss gun, but it's also, like, not a good one. Like, it, it does the trick... But it doesn't do it well. <laughs> Whoop, up, 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 up. Like it's it's getting through there. It definitely wrecked the uh, the 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 mini boss pretty darn well. But it's gonna fall off. Like Mega Hand is great, but I do think yeah, I do think it falls off. Maybe around like uh, eh, maybe, maybe honestly like around floor, floor four, it starts to get meh. But if we continue to get some uh, some power ups and things that will help us, like in the damage department, then we're then we're golden. We actually just got the uh, the flash synergy here to uh, bup, 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 bup. freeze time. However, it sounds better than it is. You would think a thing that would freeze time would be fantastic, and you might be right. But you know, oh, you know what? Does it work in here? It doesn't. It does not freeze time against the, bo uh, the the shopkeeper. That's a bummer. That would be pretty slick. All right, it looks like we're gonna be breaking this fool. 
Good deal. And then we'll go back and pick up our ammo. Solid. But yeah, we'll showca uh, showcase the time stopper. I feel like it's... Oh, there was another one. Another one we don't get to open. Junkin? Been a, been a hot moment. All right. That's fine. It's definitely been a hot moment for Junkin. We have not seen him in a long time. All right. God, I got to stop getting up. It's so freaking hot in here. It is a... There's a blizzard that happened outside. Like bajillion foot foot snow pile right outside the window, and it's insanely hot in here. That's the thing, you know. Like it's it's so cold that you want to make it so hot, but then you're like, okay, well, too hot. <laughs> I have I have overcorrected. I have overcorrected immensely. Yoink you yoink. All right, doesn't make sense to kill you. Okay, nice try, guy. Pierce through tables. So it's a definitely it's it's a fun strategy to just uh, to pierce through tables. Is it that super effective? Eh, you know, it can be. But uh, more than that, it's just kind of like it feels cheeky, you know, to use piercing weapons to shoot through tables. You can set them up. You can use them like a a a blockade that. You, oh, I did not need to do that. A blockade you can push, or you can just shoot at enemies through them. We're staying behind them. All right. We don't really need more accuracy. But it I don't know. If we get like a crown of guns to show up and we don't pick that up, I feel like I'm very dumb. All right. But, you know, it's, it's a hindsight thing. If it never shows up, it never shows up. Statistically, statistically, it probably won't show up. There's so many items. What do we get? The Huntsman. Yeah, I mean, this gets some value from accuracy up. All shotguns get a decent value from accuracy up. Would you guys please? I want to get this man. I want to hunt this man. Should do a little bit of testing of this, show you. Whoop. See, it's kind of, it's like, a, it's a weird camera business. It's like, it's not quite, I don't know. It's just not quite as good as uh, you would think it could be. It's a room-wide AOE damage and stun, yet it just, I don't know. It's, I guess maybe it's the fact that it uses... Five ammo? I don't know. But it kind of like has to. Maybe it's better than I remember. Maybe. We'll try it out. We'll keep trying it out. I want the other guy to open up. Whoop! Bop. I don't know. Seems like it maybe does as much damage as the camera. You know, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. But like, I almost think that the ammo is more useful as the regular Mega Hand. If we had like a f even faster charge rate, like if we we're playing as the Marine, this would would be better because it would charge a little bit faster. Because just having that, there is that weird little time where maybe it, maybe it's literally just the fact that it does feel kind of strange. To have there be that time where they they do get to move around and shoot. But like if they didn't have that, that'd be crazy. I think that that right there was the way to use it. In conjunction. I think that's what it is. This is why I always give uh, give things a second chance, you know? I think it's important to do that. Like, even a thousand hours into the game. You, you're probably not right about literally everything you uh, you decided early on to be real in fact it's very unlikely whoop 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 we can do something like that and then there would be one shot away on both of those and we only have to deal with this guy yeah it's 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 nice it's nice 
I take it back. It's feeling pretty solid. There's a chance it was buffed at some point, but I don't think so. I think it's just like... I think I just see the merits in it, and that merit is that they stay frozen when you switch guns. Oop, that didn't work. Time! Does it stop time here? No, it does not. Easy peasy. Just got some garbage key RNG today. Just like truly, truly just bad. Yo! Oh! <laughs> bad key RNG. It's okay, there's one guaranteed one in the shop. Guaranteed unlock shop, uh, guaranteed key in the shop. Take notes, undermine, take notes. Take freaking notes. Whoop, whoop. It's like if you're willing to spend the resource, you, you'll definitely get, or you can uh, and not spend it on other things. It's up to you. If, the, if you have a run where you're unable to open any chest, it's definitely your fault. Because you can always buy keys in the shop. You can always buy a key in the shop on every floor. If you can't buy one, it's because you decided to spend your money on something else. And that's that's your fault. Can you run into situations where you have a lot of chests you can't open? Absolutely. But like, you know, it may maybe it's like you decided to do do the rat, so you didn't have enough money to buy the keys early on. That was your choice. You didn't have to do that. Whip, whip, whip. But I'm digging the time stopper, and I'm actually gonna be kind of annoyed when it's gone now. Sad, like <laughs> sad day. All right, feed that. Feed. I guess the banana. Did we get the unlocks yet? Finish gun. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. I am gonna buy this, just in case, you know? Just in freaking case. Disappointing. So we should be really quite accurate. Yeah, this is normally a pretty inaccurate gun. Still not even perfectly accurate, which is kind of funny. That's pretty darn accurate. That's pretty darn accurate. Okay, okay. I say... A little bit of time stop, a little bit of... Mine cutter. Uh-oh. Probably the Huntsman would be a more logical choice. Whoop. Oh, he, oh, he's got some diminishing returns on him, I think. Definitely seemed like they were uh, getting frozen more early. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I feel like it's not useful on bosses. Maybe, maybe that's why I wrote it off. Maybe I was trying to, like... Ah! Ah! Maybe I was trying to use it on the bosses before. Do it for something like this. Where we want to like get a little bit uh, of an extra set of breathing room there. Ah! <laughs> See, it actually, I think it might have hurt me more than it helped me there. And now, we're, you know, whatever. Got hit twice. Twice. Can we get a twice? Insane. It's all about momentum sometimes, you know? We're out of ammo here. Let's actually do a little bit of this. Why not? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I meant to do it, obviously. Like I said, this day, it's a, it's a doozy. We, <laughs> we're throwing it all out the window. It's all out the window. No, lumberjacked. I actually don't know what this synergy is, which is bizarre because it's such a uh, such a common set of items. Those two guns are not not rare. I feel like I've had them a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, disappointing, disappointed. Would have munched to this.
if I was given the option earlier. That's for sure. Interesting combo with, uh, with these two. You know, you could just do a little bit of a time stop into punch, 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 punch. Actually, kind of good. What on earth? Like, actually decent? Because then you can stock up the combo and get the super punch. What the hell? I... I I am, uh, yeah, color me surprised. Uh-oh. This ain't great. You know what we need? Time stop! You know why it's good? It doesn't push him away. That's interesting. Oh, hell. Alright. Enough of that. Whoop, 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 whoop. So we got a supercharged punch, a one hit KO. For the next fool. Apparently, if you kill them. Aww. With this, you don't get money from him. so interesting but you can't the thing is you can't switch back otherwise you lose your uh, you lose your your stars I'm just gonna pick this up right now god this is so bizarre but like we can we freeze the time and then we it lets us get up there so that we can get a stun off Weird, like it's such a strange, like you wouldn't think it would be like a combo, but it kind of is. Bizarre, I can't believe it. I bet you there's some some other things that are kind of soft combos with this time stop. Like, and this is interesting because yeah, I definitely. Uh, I mean, sorry for saying how interesting it is twenty times. I just. Two things that I kind of rate have rated mediocrely in the past combined are kind of like really good in a genuine way. I it's it's I it's great. <laughs> you love you love to see it. You know you love to see it. They're greater than the sum of their parts, which is easy because before the before this episode, I'd say the sum of their parts. Eh. Quite low, quite low. Oh, 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 oh! This is the problem, though. I feel like I, I feel like I can't switch back until we get the super punch. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop! Hell no. Wait, do we use this? I guess we use the super punch. Mm -hmm. I walked into it. I walked into it. We don't even need to use the super punch. You can just uh, punch. I always just use it right away. Because I feel like I'm supposed to. Otherwise, I'm going to lose it. Because if you do get hit, you do lose it. Not what I meant to do, but okay. Oop. Punch! Falcon! Punch! I don't know, I, whenever I hear Falcon Punch, I always hear in my head the Kirby version. More than I hear the actual Captain Falcon version. It's that one, it's like that one song that circulated on uh, the internet a long time ago. The Dreamland theme, but it's Kirby saying Falcon. Falcon Punch! Punch, punch, Falcon Punch! That thing. From long, long past. Years long past. Whoop! Bep. Good. Is this, uh, yeah, it's a chest. 
Grenade launcher. Why do I always... I always get grenade launcher. Aw, oh, man. This is where you realize you're spoiled by Gungeon, you know? When you see this room combo. This long without a teleporter. So many roguelikes don't have teleporters. That really would benefit from teleporters. Cough, cough. The Binding of Isaac. The Binding of Isaac would, would benefit in, like, in greatly from teleporters. It's just like, the skill does not come from walking to the back to the rooms. It... It's like, uh, oh, interesting. It's, uh, you don't, it doesn't prove that you're smart, the fact that you walked there. Like, it, and it doesn't prove you're smart. Like, whatever. You, I, I'm just saying, like, it doesn't, that's not why people like, uh, to min max. I had to, I just had to try it again. There's full metal jacket again. You know what? I, like, Mimic Tooth necklace is good. I don't know if we could if we get a key from the boss and enough money, which I think is unlikely, but there will be a cell creep as long as it's not weirdly hidden behind there for some reason. Okay, well wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, I don't know what the lumberjack synergy is about. Still, maybe if we hit with this, I don't. All I see is that the leaves are coming out of the wrong place, but something tells me that's just a bug. I feel like that's not anything to do with the synergy, but maybe it is. I have no freaking clue what the synergy is. It might just be one of those ones that's like, hey, this thing is stronger now. I mean, I like those from a, uh, like a strength standpoint. It's like it... It's nice to just have something be obviously better. But they're also like, you know, they're not that fun. Okay, Ring of Chest Friendship. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Are you serious? It is behind there? That is very strange. I forgot that that could happen. Like, it sh first of all, like it shouldn't happen. But okay, so we have to spend a key so that we can sell a bunch of stuff, I guess. Because yep, it's through there. Okay. Weird. Last helmet. Hooray. I think we're going to sell the Blast Town. It immediately gives you, not even explosion immunity, but makes it so you don't get hit. Or the, the radius is smaller. We have a lot of stuff that's worth selling. One more. One more. I don't want to sell the Mahogany because I don't know what the synergy is. You know what? Let's be bold, baby. All right. So then we go back, we get Mimic Tooth Necklace. It should transform this automatically into a Mimic. Okay, well, apparently it needs to be shot first. We'll just punch it in the corner. <laughs> Nano Machine, son! I love nano machines. Son. Uh just gives you it, it, it's a simple thing, but it's just it's it's fun. Basically, you get the two uh two armor just inherently, but then also after that every like three or four hits, you get a shield. It's basically like, "Hey, were you worried about dying? Well, now don't be." I don't know. I don't think we need to I don't know if we need to sell anything else. This is a great combo. This gives us more chests to show up and we'll be able to open up all of them. We do have to fight him, but you saw how hard that was with the uh, with the boxing glove. It's effectively a mimic destroyer because, you know, guaranteed stuns effectively on a solo target. Punch, punch, Falcon, punch. Can't get it out of my head now. 
What if we... What a dumb, co <laughs> dumb combo idea. That, that, that doesn't do nothing. Hey, yoink. Yeah, it's, it's fun to be able to kill enemies you normally wouldn't think you'd be able to successfully bop with the boxing glove. Does this work? Nope. Come on. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh god! <laughs> the time stop really messed me up there. I was I was getting ready to dodge it, but it didn't go away. Oh hell. That was godlike. That was godlike, you gotta admit. Okay. Stunt. Ah! Oh, we lost the charge, but we were, even though we were still charging it, it didn't count. I thought we would get to get the uh, one hit KO off still. Well, I mean, like, I kind of wish we had ghost bullets. But it doesn't have any value with what we've been doing. Which is, like, kind of a fun little thing that I don't want to stop doing. Oh! <laughs> Unless, like, for some reason, ghost bullets would actually make this do better AoE damage, which I find hard to believe. That's that one star. No, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Get a stun off. Thank you. All we need is one stun off and then we're good. How dare you. Elephant gun. Don't really care. Yoink. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, man. It's... This is like... Making me really like the boxing glove. Okay, okay. You know what? Not because I think I need to, but... Excuse me? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> that, that was illegal. Illegal. Inappropriate. Okay, hide. Hide like a baby. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Really? It one shot bobbed the bubble. Okay. Weird, but okay. Can we need a stun? Are you having issues with mimics and you have the boxing glove? Think no further than this strategy. I'm like not really going to use it today. Yes, there's cheese. Yes, I know how to act. I'm just like, it just doesn't really work with the weirdness I'm trying to do. This We could get ammo back for the price of curse. It just, I, I don't really feel like messing with it. If we had the option to sell it, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I don't think there's a way to get... <sighs> The ability to sell stuff on uh, this floor, or ever again. Yes. Who cares? I, I don't feel like messing with the metronome today. We've done a couple metronome uh, exploiting runs recently. Well, now there's a now there's maybe a different reason to actually do it. Oop. No, come back. Walk into the big bullet. Ooh, I love double vision. I love it, I love it, I love it a lot. Hup. Yoink. You're going to hear Metronome breaking like a lot this run. <laughs> he, he took it. He took the shot and didn't die. I will get you one day.
Three shots of the quad lazy. You gotta be joking, mon frere. Okay. I'm definitely considering going back to get the ammo from the shrine for the curse. I feel like I would maybe want to drop the huntsman. I don't know what kind of territory our curse would get to. I, I don't know. The same time. This is pretty darn good. Okay. It's pretty darn good. And I don't know what the synergy is. I don't feel like... I still have not discovered it. But now we're out. Oh, that's a fun sound. Getting that all at once there. Hide behind the table. Take pictures. No, I'm not. I'm not, not going to do that. Too, too, uh, too impatient. Want more action. I've tried so hard to get value out of the quad laser, but it's so slow. Oh, well, rip. Rip run. I mean, rip enemies in this run is a better way of phrasing it. Um. All right. What do we want to fill then? Wow, it's what a world where I want to fill up the boxing glove. Oh, we have enough for the ghost bullets. <sighs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. Curse me, Papa. Curse me, Papa Caliber. It's, it's uh, maybe not worth it, but I'll do it anyway. We probably should have done it after the boss, because now we have a chance to get a, uh, you know, big old cursed fight here, which would be unfun. I'm trying so hard. I want the value. They'll get there. When these make it there, you are screwed. Ow. <laughs> it's okay. I, I feel like I don't want to move. I want to just see this weird snake line make it there and damage this fool. But it's so dumb. All right. I want... <laughs> Oh, you're gonna get it, fool! Yeah, this is so bad. What I'm doing? Okay, thankfully we are out of the ammo, and we actually have to do something different now. Phew! Because that was <laughs> so dumb. We're gonna throw the run just trying to be goofy. Not really, because we have the chamber gun, so we're gonna be fine. All is well in the world. As soon as I picked this gun up, I was like, eh, we're fine. Also, we have the, um, whatchamacallit. What is it? What? We got the, uh, nano machines. It's on. Whoop. 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 Hey up. Alley oop. Hoy up. Lay up. Good deal. Easy. Gee, did we get the Master Rose? <laughs> can we afford the shield? No, can we afford anything? Oh my god, it was actually here! <laughs> okay! Okay! Weird, but okay! Boo! Down we go! where we will uh, rip through the entire floor using our lovely chamber gun. Womp. We've not done our, uh, our item discussion of the day. 
I feel like it makes the most sense. Let's discuss. Let's discuss the boxing glove. In the comments below, tell me what you think about the boxing glove. Either the balance of it, or the uh, the Ammonomicon entry, the visuals, just the way you unlock it. Well, anything, anything about it. Tell me what you think. Comment section below. The boxing glove is the item of the day. Ooh. Metronome's gonna get some extra value here. Hip holster. Fun. Fun get. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Hopefully we get a, an ammo drop on this floor. And then we can take the crazy damage up we're gonna be getting from the metronome all the way to the boss. That would be something special. Might get hit here though. It's not actually like a fantastic gun for these guys. Poke, 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 poke. There we go. I will find you. As soon as you are on my screen, you are going to die. Thank you. No point to even use double vision. Oh my god. Oh, it's crazy. Craziness. Love it. Like it, love it, gotta have it. So one of the, it's really one of the only guns that are ins that are insanely OP that I find to still be uh, exciting to use. You know, like I and I really think it just has to do with the fact that it's it it's a niche. You know, it's it's not it's not this OP for the whole run. It's only this OP on the forge. And I think it has to do with the fact that the forge is, uh, or I mean, not the forge, the uh, bullet hell. I think it has to do with the fact that you know, the bullet hell it's kind of sluggish, and normally it's nor normally it's a big, big old annoying thing. But um, there we go. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just the fact that it's only OP, this OP on this floor. I think that has a lot to do with it. As opposed to like the other guns that are so OP that they inhibit variety. You literally only use this gun. I mean, maybe you use the chamber gun, but you only use this version of the chamber gun on this floor. So it, it doesn't... It's OP, but it doesn't feel like it's, uh, it's making your run super samey. Because you can literally only use it on this floor. It only can exist on this floor. Could you, I mean, maybe with Mod the Gungeon, you could probably get it on the first floor, but like, I'm almost certain. Oh, I'm, I'm almost super certain. Well, actually, it's not. You could definitely get any of the uh, Master Round ones, but this one's not based off the Master Round. There's probably a way to spawn it in, though, still. Literally, the only bad thing that will happen could happen to us on this floor is that we, uh, we run out of ammo and we don't get more before the boss. I don't even know why I bothered picking that up. Cut. That's the bad thing that could happen. And to counteract it, we just need to make sure we do some tap shooting. I guess we could get hit. I guess we could get hit. I guess it didn't even factor into my brain that we might get hit. But it could totally happen. Especially if we're going for more of the tap shoot. The less uh, egregious ammo wasting way. It's so many of these. Oh, Helix, baby! Fantastic Helix bullets are great with anything that gu is guaranteed to hit, like the camera or the uh, or this, because you just straight up get a damage increase. Okay, so we actually want to not waste our ammo. So we want to. I mean, you can see, like, just look at his health. If we keep holding down, it does that much. Otherwise, we can do it like this. I mean. It's pretty, pretty night and day that we should be using our ammo like this, you know? If we want to keep it for the rest of the fight. We haven't even been using our double vision, but it doesn't even matter. It's a waste to use anything. Anything at all, because the boss damage cap is being met so ridiculously. Womp. Wait, womp, wait, womp. I really, like, oh man. 
if we do if we do the mod the gungeon series or pro honestly like probably like when we do the mod the gungeon series um I can't wait to definitely install the boss damage cap removal mod as part of part of the mod pack. Just to see how things go. Cause I think it could get crazy. I think it could get crazy. Like this is in the base game and like they would be dead this run without the boss damage cap, this boss would be dead in literally two seconds. Like two seconds max. It just it's so quick. All right, now we have to actually use something else. Let's goof. Double punch! Double punch! <laughs> Goodbye, mon frere. Goodbye. That was uh that was a run. I'm like a time <laughs> a, a chronomancer boxer, you know? I am the chrono boxer. Sounds like a rejected rejected supervillain, chrono boxer. All right, I stop time and punch you in the face a couple times. I can stop time for, for two two seconds and punch you in the face. Once. Truth be told, the ability to stop time for two seconds is not a long time, but it's still an OP superpower. Time, like, time control is, is OP, baby. Stone Dome, you better believe it. And other than that, we'll just save our 16 for the next set of unlocks. I'll probably do Platinum Bullets maybe last, because I just like getting a, a steadier flow of item unlocks, personally. Stone Dome, there we go. Only one thing today. But we're we're close. It guarantees that tomorrow or the next episode we'll definitely get two unlocks. And we're probably going to get that unlocked too, to be real. But anyway, that is going to do it. Oh, we got the Excalibur. We got another unlock. Fantastic. I'm just talking to everybody now because I'm like, hold up. Got all the trophies. Well, yep, we got all of them. All right, well. Cool deal. I guess I'll talk to, yeah, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. But yeah, thank you for watching. Extreme thank you to Outsu and Throbo for supporting me on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier. If you want to help support the channel, I'm going to be revamping my Patreon soon, giving extra rewards with grandfathered in prices. So effectively, you'll get like a huge discount on whatever the rewards are going to be if you're supporting right now as an early adopter. Patreon.com slash Retromation. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.